Okay, the hazel tree, Kilgobnet or St. Gobnet's wood, basically is an, o an old oak wood with an under canopy of hazel and holly. Um, uh, and, and, and we say lots of bluebell wood and enemy and greater, um, greater rush. But the hazel is a very important tree. Why is it very important? Firstly, in the Brown Laws, it was one of the seven lords of the forest. Hazel with yew, apple, ash, Scots pine, oak and holly. The Brown Law is based on sevens, groups of sevens. The seven sacred grains, from the wild oat down to the tiny bread wheat. The barleys, the wild barleys and so forth. Everything was in sevens. So there were seven lords of the forest. Hazel was a very important food. Hazel is very high in protein. Weight for weight, hazel has nearly twice as much protein as hen's egg. Weight for weight. Mm. So it's, it's a food tree. To our ancestors, it was the diviner of hidden wisdom. It was the tree that divined for wisdom. Like the wild apple was the tree of abundance, the tree that gave us abundance. I remember hearing from one old woman she once heard in her youth there were 365 recipes for, for crab apple in Old Ireland. We knew how to eat bitter. Now today we're all eating sweet. Mm. But the old people tell me when they were young they'd rather bitter. They treat, they now treat sugar as we treat bitter. They ate semi-ripened sloes, wild cherries from the Blackthorn which is one of the three wild cherries of Ireland. Prunus spinosa, Prunus avium, the wild cherry, and Prunus pados, the bird cherry. Again, food trees. So the hazel is a very, very important tree for wattling. Wattling, do you know mud wattle? Mm. Hazel was important. And of course, the hazel tree, when it's coppiced, when it's cut, I think it's Lonsdale. Or uh, yes, Lonsdale. I can quote. Lon I think it's Lonsdale of the ancient, the uh, veteran tree form of the United Kingdom, tells us that this tree can live fifteen hundred years. As a maiden, it's old at a hundred. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, sorry. As a maiden, it can live on for some hundreds. But if it's coppiced and managed, well, as Rackham reminded us, trees, if managed are infinitely renewable resources. You can cop as a tree forever. Right. It'll keep growing. The tree doesn't know when to get old. You and I do. Eyesight, hearing, mm. hairs, gut. Maybe we get crabbed and contrary and allow, we lose our sunshininess. But the tree never loses its youth. Mm. So I'll give you Francis Ledwidge. We've just come into July. Joy is short, we should joy in it. June is short, we should joy in it. Soon the swallows will be flying south and the winds wheel north to gather in the snow. Even the roses spilled on youth's red mouth will soon go down the road all roses go. So I just thought of that because we're just into July and Francis Ledwidge died around this time of the yeah. year yeah. and I understood that little poem was penciled in his he had just written it mm. before he was before he passed over I don't like passed on I don't like died mm. I don't live in that reality I see nothing that will ever die things will change and transmute uh, and uh, move on um, um, in this divine drama but nothing dies as such. Energy doesn't get lost in the system. It's a closed cycle. Mm. 